gonna take another look at uh, the OEM Volkswagen diverter valve and also compare the DV plus which we'll be installing so this is a rev G valve and uh, it's um, it's got a diaphragm here this one actually doesn't have a damaged diaphragm but it was uh, leaking under boost you could hear it uh, so uh, we'll go over the operation a little bit here so it's, it's quite simple um, when the valve is uh, is supposed to hold boost it's in this position and this surface of the valve uh, seals against uh, this is the high pressure side and underneath here where it moves like this is uh, is the low pressure side so this disc here seals against the compressor housing and you might be able to see these holes in here so as boost builds up it's not just the return spring that prevents it from opening it's actually boost that builds inside inside this diaphragm here in this larger surface area so you can even see the little holes inside there that allow boost pressure to build up and uh, and that will seal against it now when you lift off and this thing has to release uh, it's electronically actuated there's a solenoid um, so what it does is it basically does this it lifts um, and in doing so it expels the extra boost from inside the diaphragm into the low pressure zone and then it returns back via the return spring so these uh, once the diaphragms fail on them they usually uh, uh, they usually obviously leak boost and they can no longer hold boost because it depends on uh, their them being able to build pressure in the back end of the valve uh, but uh, DV the people at go fast bits have made uh, the DV plus which is actually a slightly different concept than this so first of all um, in case you're thinking it's not actually this this piston that moves up and down it's it's actually this ferrous bit that travels up and down when actuated so it gets pulled inside when there's electricity coming through the solenoid so they've used this principle to give us some uh, a few other parts one is a shorter spring here and a new ferrous um, material to be pulled inside the solenoid when actuated but as you've seen here on the OEM valve the entire piston was pulled down by the solenoid in this case it's not the entire piston it's just this little bit and the reason why that is is because the piston which sits in this housing here with its own return spring is um, it is the when this thing gets pulled back out of here it, it allows pressure to basically escape from the inside of the piston and the extra boost pressure on here will push it off so this uh, bit here is uh, or the actuator is never actually touching this piston in the GFB valve so when it all comes together here what we have is a similar uh, mode of operation uh, in terms of the outside piston to the other one through this small hole here is where boost builds up on the other side of this piston so it like, holds it shut and as soon as you lift off the solenoid is actuated and once the solenoid is actuated this plunger moves back it allows boost pressure to escape from the back of the piston and then the piston gets gets pushed down so I'll actually hear for power supply so you see what uh, what it looks like it has to be it sits here in range and there you go so that's actuated and then released to seal this back up and once again actuated and then released so the main difference here is that the piston is independent on on this uh, metal housing and uh, uh, from from the actual solenoid and the actuator and the actuator just relieves pressure in and out of the piston so uh, Because of this you no longer have to worry about the solenoid having to pull uh, the entire piston down um, It should hold more boost uh, and we're about to uh, to find that out as we put it into the vehicle